Hello, Roftwood. I'm Zombie GG with the Roftwood Coordination Center, proudly presenting you with another post-apocalyptic production I like to call an RCC Fireside Chat. Joining me in today's discussion is Roddy Winters, Grand Counselor of the Knights Templar Pro Survivor Group. Thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoy the show. <laughs> Roddy Winters, Grand Counselor of the Knights Templar. Roddy, hello to the RCC Fireside Chat. Thank you. Good to be here. So, man, I have heard from everyone that you're kind of the uh, historian of the Knights Templar. Yeah, pretty much. I, um, you know, I, actually, I, to begin with, I, I, you know, I wasn't there from the beginning of the group. They had already, they were in a couple years before I actually joined. They'd been together for a while. And, um, you know, when I just started tagging along with them and doing all my, you know, the newbie stuff and learning, you know, getting my XP and everything, um, I was digging around on the forum and everything. And every once in a while, some of the, the, the guys that had been there for a while would mention, uh, you know, something from last year or this guy that pulled this on him or anything. I was like, wow, you know, that's, you know, I'm kind of curious about history and things like that. So I would kind of dig around in, in the old posts and stuff on the forum and, um, you know, just, just kind of researching what, where the group came from and how it came about and everything. And then somehow I got obsessed with it. And I started like looking at the old, um, like the the Yahoo mailing list oh, stuff man. that they had, mailing they started list. off on those. They did, yeah. How old is your and account, that, man? That was, I gotta look that up real quick. Um, I started in 2008. Okay. And they they were they started in 2006. It's almost exactly two years since between when they formed and when I joined. So there was, you know, a bunch of stuff that happened before that, before I joined that I was just real curious about. So you checked out the so, mailing list, like before the Knights Templar had a forum, they were connected and communicating in the meta game via a Yahoo mailing list. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I know, and that's how the, the the two, two or three people that met on one of those mailing lists. And I have, I still have a uh, access to that thing. It's still on there. It's called. It was called the Necrotech list. The Necrotech and I list. Think it, yeah, and it was a. It started like the day that Urban Dead started. Wow. And it was, was people, on top of that from the like gates, just out the gates. Someone just yes. was like, I know how to meta this game. Yeah. Well, you know, it didn't start up. It was mostly like. Um, cause the, uh, Kevin was on it, Kevin Davis. Wow. And it was more, it started off as more of a technical thing. Like, you know, people would get on there and be like, Hey man, this doesn't work or what, why do I have to push this button and stuff like that, you know? And then they would work out some of the technical glitches and then it progressed to where people started going, well, I'm dead. I need to revive. And then people, all right, I'll get you. And then it kind of evolved into a. Yo, Roddy, are you there? Yeah. Uh, last I heard was evolved into a like um, a mailing <laughs> list, and then people started dying, and they're like, "Well, hey, I need to revive," and then. Right. Yeah. And then it it turned in from, it turned to more of a helping each other play the game actually instead of just telling kevin what was wrong with his shitty game you know <laughs> so, <laughs> and um so yeah that that's basically that's how people started meeting on and then there were a few other lists that i never you know i didn't see or haven't gotten access to or anything but i still have that first one i went back oh, and yeah. the guy that started that 
when I started really digging into the history, I went back to the guy that, and somehow I caught him, his email. I said, hey, man, can you, can you let me into this list? I'd really like to see what's on, what was going on back then. He said, yeah. And then that's the last I ever heard of him. So I like <laughs> caught him right in the nick of time. And so I can still sign into it and, and look at all that stuff. It's pretty cool. Oh, man, that's fantastic. Yeah, it is. It was really cool. And then, the so anyway, back to the, the Templar. Um, a couple of people met on that thing, and the, they kept just getting their asses kicked. So they said, hey, we need to form a group. So they started their own Knights Templar mailing list and really started getting it together. You know, and, and then that's how the team pretty much started. And it just kind of grew from there and then died for a little bit and then it came back and it got actually, real big. Like, what do you call died? Like just low numbers or like did someone come No, back? there was, the guy that <laughs> the guy that started it was apparently really kind of full of himself and really wanted to be the the king of the group, you know? Yeah, very egotistical. And, uh, so, yeah, yeah. And, you know, then everybody naturally is like, well, I'm not doing that. You know, this is our group, too. It's not a vibe. People they wanted more democracy. To. Right, right. So, anyway, he ended up, you know, they went on for like a year or so. And um, he uh, finally just said, all right, screw you guys. I'm going home, basically. And then he shut down that list, that mailing list. So they had no way to like talk to each other and stuff. So, you know, and that kind of scattered all the members and everything. Uh, yeah. And then they got a they got a new forum, and then that one was it was kind of half-assed, I guess, and um, that fell apart. And then they they were down to just like five or six people at one point. And then they got the forum we use now. And it started just started building it back up, and I think at one point in like 2007 or 2008, you know, like right around New Year's there, there were like two guys running the Knights Templar, and that was it. Wow! But they kept at it, you know, and they just got one guy. They kept the got torch another lit. one. Yeah, I know, and they get all the credit. That guy was his name was uh, calling himself Abel Sentinel. Abel Sentinel keeps the torch lit in, he what, did. 2007, 2008, and then you show up. You just had your 10 year, I see, by the way. I got your profile up. July 9th, 2008 was when uh, the legendary Roddy Winters had his debut in Malton. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it was, by the time I joined, it was, it was really building up. There nice. were a good probably 10, 15 guys, and they were tight, you know. It was a tight fighting unit. They were communicated well, and everything was cool. And so I just kind of stepped in and followed their lead for a while and learned all the ropes and just kind of went from there, you know. And uh, it was it was a lot of fun back in those days because you knew, you knew you couldn't take on much of anybody with, like, ten guys. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because you're dealing so you with hordes of, like, a hundred, literally. Right, right. And you had to, you had to slipstream. You had to go zig when they zag and stuff like that. You uh, know, you couldn't just take them head on your school. Yeah. Exactly. It's pretty important to play mm -hmm. river tactics, or else you're just sure, clogging yeah. the and... revive cues, man. <laughs> I know, I know. And that's pretty much what we've done, unless you know we, we figure you have a chance. And yeah, that's what you have to do. There's no way around it. I don't know. You know, so. usually when a big zombie horde like the Scourge or the RF show up or something, I like to give them a couple good sieges just for fun, you know, just to put a timer on it to see, like, did we make it 24 hours? Did we make it 48 hours? Yeah. You know, I, exactly. death I know. is inevitable, but it's like, how long can <laughs> we just, like, stand? You got to make a stand at least once a war. They, they usually have, yes, like, little exactly. month-long wars and shit. And we'll play river tactics, but it's like, nah, we're going to flex a little bit here, you know? Yeah, I know. And just just pick a building or something, you know. Just just everybody get together, turn the lights off, and then wait for shit to happen. And <laughs> see, you know, I love that kind of stuff. That's what it's all about. You know, I don't like running too much. I'm here to kill stuff. You know. Oh uh, yeah, dude. I click 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 around. You know. I carry guns. 
So tell me about uh, hmm. when you first started. Were the knights established in Kempsterbank? Because I heard the knights did not originate in Kempsterbank. Well, yes, they were. When I joined, it was well established, and White Knoll Building was the the castle, so to speak. And then um, they, going back to the begin, the very beginning, they kind of every all of them met in. Um, it's at Yagoton, Yagoton, I don't know how you pronounce yeah. it, but it's up north in the middle there. That's where they all kind of met, but they didn't want to be there because there were apparently at that time there were a lot of human groups or survivor groups, and they were all kind of competing against each other for turf. You know, yeah, if you got 100, well, back then it was, there were hundreds of people at, at a time, you know, playing. And if one zombie was, and you're trying to get experience points, you know, you better be quick and right on it. You're not going to get those. Yeah, those zombies so they, get sniped just, up. Sure. Yeah, you have to, absolutely. Like, farm so, the revive points. It's awful. I hate doing that. I've done it before when I was low level because Roftwood was green at one point in time when I was a low level. And, like, mm -hmm. I just, there wasn't any experience to gain. I had to just, you know, take bites out of the dudes waiting to get poked. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like I a huge jerk about it, but it's like, yo, dogs got to eat, brother. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. I know. There's no other way to do it. So that's what was going on there. And they said, well, as long as we got a new group together, let's find a new place to hang out. And the, one of the guys, um, his name's Big JD, and he's still around, actually. He's, he was one of the originators of the group. And I, I see him every once in a while. Um, he, he found the Kempster Bank, and apparently it was pretty wide open back then. There weren't, there was one group, but it was small, and they weren't doing a lot ah, to no help out, force. you know. Right. So he said, "All right, this is perfect because there was a there was an NT building right next door. There's a hospital There's and a, a police mall, station like on your border. Or yeah, very close. Like six six squares away is Pole Mall. It was perfect." Right. Bank. Mm hmm Yep. So that was for them. That was all right. Great. Now, we're, now we can build, and they did. You know. So that's that. Basically, they've been in Kempster Bank the whole time. They're just Yagaton is where they, they kind of met up. That's pretty cool. But they never really established anything up there. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that and that. They've we've been there ever since, you know, and and everybody knows it. I think it's like that's kind of Knights Templar live in White Knoll, and that's it. <laughs> and, they, and they take care of Jillard and T building next door, and that's that's pretty much it, man. White Knoll's a pretty powerful building. I never really thought about it until uh, Bernaldo, another one of the Knights Templar dudes. He was like talking White Knoll building up, and I thought about it, and I'm staring at it right now, and it's a pretty powerful building. It's in between a police department and a necrotech, and then yeah. it also has three hospitals within three tiles. Yeah, there's a lot of hospitals in that suburb. Two yeah. NTs. Yeah, and then Pole Mall is like, what'd you so. say, six tiles? something like that yeah it's it's real it's just a quick shot down the street yeah it's it's a great spot to be in and there's not i mean everybody wants to be right at the malls and you know that's tough going especially when there were a lot of people you know oh dude malls and are um, the biggest like <laughs> points of contestion malls are like what sure. zombies toured whenever zombies went on tours they always i thought historically like took away the mall as a victory or whatever every suburb they left well hell there were there were the whole mall tours yeah. remember those yeah those are awesome. i don't know how long have you been playing um okay so my first character was ndg and i made him in high school in 2006 and i hung out oh my in God. like edgecombe for a bit and then mm -hmm. i once i learned how the game worked. I saw Roftwood next door, and Roftwood looked wicked rich in, like, resource points. 
and so I was just mm -hmm. committed to Roftwood forever. And the Malton medical staff, I befriended those guys, like, back then and stuff. They had a hilarious culture. Where they play very <laughs> pacifistically, and I play, like, very militaristically. I don't know. I like to shoot stuff mm -hmm. and kill things. Yeah. Um, they like to spend, like, 40 or 50 AP talking about, like... I don't know, building <laughs> kidney armor to, and like fighting alligators and sewer. I don't know, they're crazy, but I love them. And uh, <laughs> Roftwood just became my home back Fighting alligators. Oh, dude, it's crazy. Wait till you see the MMS <laughs> next time you guys come up to Roftwood. But, um, Is that right? anyway, I kind of made like myself a security type dude, always like backing up the MMS and trying to protect the suburb and stuff. And then I quit from, like, 2008 until, like, last year. I wanted oh, okay. a new start, you know? Oh, okay. I sent my old guy, like, right. way up in Dolston, the most northeast suburb in the map. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> he's just hanging <laughs> out tough. over there, messing around. There's a lot of clubs up there, so he's just, I don't know, being an old 2006 account club. And, and then I have my zombie GG guy doing what? shit in Roftwood. So you did get to see a lot of the, the yeah. kind of the heyday. What were the biggest events That's good. in my heyday? Big Bash 4, I think, was the biggest event. And you And the um, Blackmore like in Bastard Brigade. Big Bash 4 and yeah. Blackmore Bastard Brigade, those were the two biggest events, I think. Okay, cool. Yeah, you know, for the most part, the Temp Knights Templar have kind of we're sort of under the radar, you know, for as long as we've been around. And we, we've, we've done a lot of stuff, but we generally don't really get into the bigger drama type situations. Yeah. And I'm not, you know, we we have sort of been in, in, in the periphery of that kind of stuff a little bit, but I don't know, you know, and, and I've always kind of thought, Maybe we need to get out and be, you know, be more social and talk to people or something. I think that's you know, and down, just kind of, you know. Yeah, and you know, we did. We had a lot of ally, and our bunch, of our biggest allies, uh, probably still, well, not still, but to this day, were always the, um, what the hell was it? Like the the police department, the fire department, the DEM. You yeah, know, those the guys. Department of Emergency management, DM, and and they had, you know, squads or whatever, all over the place. And the guys that were in our area, we really got to know them very well. And um, they we we fought, you know, like a mall tour or two with them, and a couple of mob hits, um, at least a couple. Mob was always hitting us for some reason. They, they really Ministry got off of and coming over. What is mob? Yeah, I don't know. Militant Order of Barha. Militant Order of Barha, that's right. <laughs> yeah. They were, they were pretty mean, but they were kind of funny about it, you know, because we would, you, you know, it, sometimes your guys get a little desperate and they'll go ahead and just combat revive. And so those guys get up I'm like, what the, f what the hell are you do? It's not how you're supposed to play. And then they'd give us a bunch of shit and kill us and oh, back in those go days. back to being dead. And stuff. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, they, they were they were probably the zombie group that we um, fought the most. One one time, our our old leader, the guy that that flipped out and killed the board and all that stuff, he the, the mob attacked. Kempster Bank wiped everything out, all of us out. And apparently, he came back and shot a couple of them as they were leaving, you know. Yeah. And then he he got on the wiki page and started mouthing off. Yeah, we drove off the mob. Oh and no! They no, came. They no. went running. So they said, "Oh yeah," and they came yeah, back and that's what's gonna happen haunted. when you do that shit. <laughs> oh. And they were there for like a month and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing could get done, you know. It was that was just that sounds the funny. Place I mean, <laughs> the fucking ground. Yeah, there was nothing, not a generator. Nothing was going on there. It was awesome. Oh, the storage done that twice now since I what 
since I came back, I pretty much just straight up started the RCC in Discord. Um, I used to have the RCC on like a pro boards forum back in like the 2000, like six to eight run that I did. And then like when I came mm -hmm. back last year, I just straight up made the RCC Discord. And um, luckily I got Benigno back. I don't know, do you remember Benigno? I think I was, I was, he no, was but I was talking to him today. Do you oh, okay. the defenders at all? Is or that the, the DZ, the was it DZZ or something? The SSZ, yeah. Survivor Security Zone. And that was, yeah, that was pretty much like the, the circle of malls up there. Yep, exactly. In kind of the middle of the board. Yeah, yeah. Yep, and so that was like his thing. That was a pretty big group back in the day. And, uh... I think mm -hmm. he was still in Raftwood when I came back, and I was like, yo, you're like Benigno, leader of the zone defender. He's just defending Raftwood as an independent. And I was like, brother, help me, like, let's do this thing. Let's do, like, the Raftwood Elite, and I'll be like, you know, and he was down, and he's just been my second-hand man since, like, the RCC started. Ah, oh, that's great. So I run this crew called the Raftwood Elite now. Benigno's, like, my second-hand okay. man. I got a couple of real-life friends that play with me. And then we just got some oh, that's that good. we've recruited, you know, because we're pretty militant, so we're, like, usually where the action is, and so that means we see, like, the other people who are, like, in the action. And, you know, after you see, like, some other locals who are just constantly, like, you know, in the spots where they're probably going to die, you get respect for that shit. It's like, yo, brother, like, you yeah. want to fucking, like, join us on Discord? You're, like, pretty badass. And so that's, like, how I pick the <laughs> I only pick the dudes who are consistently just showing up in, like, the most dire situations. But someone's got to mm -hmm. do it, man. You know, it doesn't matter. Death yeah. just get revived. There's tons of people who just have tons their inventories are filled with first aid kits and needles, and they're just looking to patch people like me up. So we just throw ourselves in ridiculously suicidal situations and make the best of it, and that's how we recruit people. It's the mm -hmm. other guys who show up in those situations. <laughs> Dude, we hang out yeah. together all the time anyway. Nah, we might as well throw our tags on and get in the Discord, you know? Sure, yeah. Absolutely. Sure. That's that's always, you know, th that's the main goal anybody really has. If you start a group or get, you know, you get into the upper ranks of a group, the, thing, the first thing you want to do is, man, I want to I want to be 70 strong. You know, I want to have a freaking army behind me. Let's go. You know, and you charge into battle and save the day. Yeah. Well, that's tough <laughs> sometimes because half of them are just wandering, you know, like level two. And what do I? What? What? You know, and they're trying to keep everybody straight. And then, then the whole, as far as getting into like leading a group, then you you spend more time emailing or you know back in the day emailing or on your forum or chats or whatever just telling everybody okay you go here do this and hide here you go here do this hide that you heal me or <laughs> bring me back to life or whatever and it's a lot of that you, you spend three hours doing that kind of stuff and then you spend the next 48 seconds actually playing the game and then you're done let's do it all again tomorrow you know <laughs> it's like oh man but it's fun. That's that's the part I've always really liked about it the most, is the people, you know. The community, man. Um, it's the best part of this game, yeah. 100%. Absolutely. And, I, you know, when you stop talking about the actual game and you get to know some of these people, they're all over the world. You know, we've had people from uh, a lot of English people, Australia, South Africa. We have a bunch of, like, Eastern European south america was big for a while and it's amazing that you can all kind of just you know get together and, and do something and, and i've always loved learning about where people are from and stuff like that and what they do and <laughs> Thank you.
my discussion with Roddy Winters, Grand Counselor of the Knights Templar Pro Survivor Group. This RCC Fireside Chat is a post-apocalyptic production proudly presented to you by the Roftwood Coordination Center. I'm Zombie GG, and Roftwood, the pleasure's been mine.